Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brett Madigan and welcome back to Mad Again. So in this video, I want to talk about my channel being unverified or not unverified, unpartnered by Freedom. Now, I've been with Freedom for a number of years now and had zero problem with them, right? Like, yeah, they take a little bit more than they should, but at the same time, I'm not making YouTube videos to get a lot of money. I'm making YouTube videos because I can and I want to talk about things. So if I get any sort of revenue back from that, then that's good for me because it's instantly in my bank account. Um, whereas before, it was you had to sign up to an AdSense account and then link it with your YouTube account and then you'd make ad. Uh, sorry, you'd generate revenue from that. And once you hit the $100 cap, then you would be able to send that money to your bank account. Now, I don't know if that's still a thing. I don't know whether there's that $100 threshold before you can actually get the money that you've earned back from YouTube or Google. I don't know if that's still a thing. So I have to obviously look into this a bit more, uh, which YouTube network I want to end up going with. Because at the end of the day, all it comes down to as to why I ended up joining any network whatsoever is that I didn't want to wait until I generated that $100 before I could get any sort of revenue or any sort of money back. Now, is that a huge deal? No. Do I make YouTube videos to get paid? No. Do I make YouTube videos to get a lot of money? No. The reason why I make videos is because I have something to say and I want people to know about it. A lot of people don't know that I make videos. I don't care. But if anyone watches my videos and gets something out of it, then that's what I'm here for, right? So, as to why I got removed from Freedom, I don't know. I didn't get any email whatsoever. Didn't get an email from YouTube. Didn't get an email from Freedom themselves telling me as to why I was removed from their network. So that to me is a little bit concerning as to why, you know, these YouTube networks or even YouTube aren't even telling people that they've been unpartnered or even telling them the reason why they were unpartnered that to me is really really weird and concerning so here you can see that my other channel the rampage it's still it's still monetized if i reload the page you'll see that all my monetization has gone from every one of my videos now i don't make a lot of money right that's not why i'm making these videos i don't get a lot of views right i don't care if any more than 10 people watch my video that's all i care about you know, I don't care about likes, dislikes, or anything like that. If anyone comments on my video and says that they liked it, then fuck yeah, dude, that's awesome. They don't, don't care. But what does piss me off is that YouTube isn't telling anyone that they're being removed from networks, or even the network themselves aren't telling the, the creator why they've been removed. And that is very concerning to me, at least, you know. Now, this channel has 127,000 views. Just in case you thought that I was under the 10,000 view threshold for a channel. No, that's not why I've been removed. And again, why have I been removed? No idea. So <laughs> now the only way that I would assume that my channel got removed is because in a, in a lot of my videos, there's a lot of swearing. But at the same time, if we roll back to when YouTube started to change the monetization process, um, or, you know, a lot of those ad companies were getting removed or pulling out or whatever because they didn't want to be associated with channels that swear or, you know, any sort of Nazi talk or whatever, you know, like religion stuff. My channel has none of that. So I didn't get any of my videos demonetized during that process. So the only time that any of this has happened is after the 10,000 view threshold thing was announced or implemented and that was implemented on the 6th of april i believe yeah 6th of april so i don't know i really honestly don't know why i've been removed and it just pisses me off that they didn't tell me or there's no actual indication as to why i've been removed but yeah let's go to my other channel shall we and show you that i'm still that I'm still partner verified, which says right here, monetization enabled. If I refresh, well, my monetization is still there. Now, what's interesting is that Freedom is allowing monetization on a channel that barely gets 100 views a month. So, 
why is this channel still being able to monetize, but yet my other channel being removed? That, to me, makes no sense whatsoever. But this channel here has more lifetime views, 300,000. I'll tell you what happens in the end, but basically what's, what will happen to both of my channels is Mad Again will stay as my reviews, first, first impressions, uh, as well as like random news topics or rants or whatever. That channel is going to stay as, as, as it is. My other channel, the playthrough channel, is as it is. The playthroughs of what I play. And it's not going to be like constantly there, but it might be like one or two videos every other day or something like that. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet because there's a lot of stuff that I have to get through. Like I have over five playthroughs. Like if I go through my actual playthrough folder, oh, it keeps spitting everywhere. Like I still obviously have to finish The Witcher 3. I finished that game years ago, guys. Like ages ago. Gears of War 4, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, um, Nathan Drake Collection. I finished all of those games. Resident Evil 7, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last of Us Remastered. Uh, what the fuck is happening? I'll just see you guys next time.